The Elusive Bank Robbers The four most notorious bank robbers of the Old West have joined forces and have just pulled off their biggest heist ever. They decide to split up and mix among the locals to increase their chances of at least some of them escaping. The sheriff and his two deputies have set up three roadblocks, checkpoints, on the only road out of town. They thoroughly search every other rider or wagon that comes through. What are the chances that all four bank robbers will elude the authorities? Slim to none, no doubt. Now you need five piles of seven cards each. You need the four jacks, which will represent the four bank robbers. Okay, so they're trying to escape with their loot, but they want to mix themselves among the locals. So have the spectator decide on any one of these as a starting place. Uh, perhaps they start right here, which is fine. Um, I want you to note the order in which I'll be placing the jacks because that could be a fun additional element at the end to point out. I have them in chaste order. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. It's called chaste order as an acronym or mnemonic. Okay, so go ahead and place the jack of clubs right here on the pile chosen by the spectator. Now the spectator also needs to decide on a um, orientation, a direction to go clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's say they choose clockwise. Okay, so we're going to go this way. So we have the jack of clubs here. The spectator is free to choose any number of cards from this pile or number of people from there and place them on top of the jack of clubs to begin to hide him, mix him in with the locals. Now take the jack of hearts, place him on top of the cards from which you've just pulled cards. Spectator can choose any number of cards and place them right there. Place the jack of spades right there. Spectator chooses any number at all to place right there. Jack of diamonds goes right here. Spectator can choose any number to place right there. Okay. Now you might want to give a little bit of a time delay before you do this next stacking, but we will be stacking in the opposite order. You pick up the pile from which you've drawn the last little bunch of cards and you go in reverse order. You don't need to make a big deal about this. Just do it. Spectator won't question that considering all of the mixing that we're going to be doing in just a minute. Okay, so the bank robbers are trying to get through all three checkpoints, all three roadblocks. So they arrive at the first one. And if you recall, what's happening is every other rider or wagon is being thoroughly searched. Okay, so they get there. The first person they search thoroughly. The next one, go ahead, search, 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 search. So you're just alternately dealing the cards face up, face down. I <laughs> Is anyone surprised by the fact that we haven't seen a jack yet? Come on. Just... It looks like all four jacks are going to successfully get through these checkpoints. How in the world is that possible? Uh, they did. Okay. Well, the, um, the bank robbers now are thinking, boy, we did such an amazing job just randomly mixing ourselves among the locals that we all eluded the authorities. Let's do it again. Okay. So now if you were here, I would have you make these important choices. I'm going to be dealing out cards into piles until you or the spectator says stop and then I'll go on to the next pile. You're not here. 
So I'm going to have to use this six-sided die to help me and kind of show you that this truly is random. Okay, so I'm going to roll this. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Go on to the next pile. Th uh, three, if you saw that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Perfect, because I only have one left. Okay, so this mixing is a, a very powerful one. It's called the first shall be last, the last shall be first. Now, you don't need to explain this to the spectator. I suppose you could. Um, and so how this works is the cards that were dealt last are the ones that are picked up first, right? So we dealt these this is the very last card, so we just go in the reverse order that they were dealt out. First shall be last, the last shall be first. Okay, now we've let this random event mix up those, car mix up those uh, bank robbers, so they're feeling confident. They decide to get, try to get through this second checkpoint. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to search that person. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, I can't believe it. They are doing it again. They got through the second checkpoint without being detected. How in the world is that possible? So they put their heads together again and they think, you know, we have such an intuition for randomly mixing ourselves among these locals. Let's do it a third time. Okay. So once again, if you were here, I'd have you make these important choices. You're not. So the die will help us. Uh, one, two, one, two. Oh, wow. One, two, <laughs> one. Uh, wow, these are small numbers. I only have one left, so I'll put it there. First shall be last. The last shall be, excuse me, first. Okay. First shall be last. The last shall be first. Okay, so with a bit of trepidation, the four bank robbers approach the third and final checkpoint. <sighs> Can they get through? Ah. Oh, oh, heavens above. Did they do it? Did they actually get through the checkpoint without being detected? They did indeed. And in fact, look at their order. The first bank robber was first. The second bank robber was second and so forth. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. That was the original order they were in. Boy, these bank robbers are incredibly good at what they do. So that is the elusive bank robbers. And if you go to the description of this video, as is the case with many of my demonstrations, especially the shorter ones, you'll find a PDF that has a full write-up of this effect. It will give you all of the steps and um, often even what to say as I've been uh, talking through this. So this is available in the description. Just click on the link. It takes you to an Evernote file. You can download the PDF and keep that as a reminder of how to uh, accomplish the seemingly impossible with these crazy bank robbers.